Hi guys, it's Kelly. I'm one of the creative team members for Trinity Stamps and for today's video we're going to be making a slimline card and in doing that I'm going to be using the wallflower uh, stamp and the slimline layered balloon stencil as well as the scallop card panels and banners die set. I'm going to be using these three items and actually one more Trinity product which I'll show you. Actually another Trinity product, a few of them uh, we're going to be using in this video and I'll show you as we get further in the video. So to start off I'm using one of the stencils. I taped it down to my panel. I already die cut that to save time and I'm using, I chose like the rainbow colors but light colored inks for the distress inks because I wanted them to be, I thought about using distress oxides but because they blend so amazingly, however they're more opaque and they don't, I wanted these balloons to, to be translucent because I knew I was going to be stamping on them. So, so I wanted them to appear more like balloons and to be see-through. This the blending is not perfect heads up just going to let you know that my ink pads were not seasoned and they did not blend very well but it didn't matter because i'm going to be stamping on top of them with the wallflower stamps anyway so in these stencils there there come two come in the set they are etched so you can see how to line them up to get that design that is in and how it's intended for them to be layered over each other or you can use them individually and just use them however you want. I use them as they were intended. You can do it either way. Layer A and B or B and A. It doesn't make a difference. They're interchangeable. It doesn't matter. So here I'm just going on. I'm speeding up the process because it's just pretty simple and pretty boring. <laughs> just blending. And again I wasn't using Bristol cardstock. I probably should have used that but because that blends a little more smoothly it's got a little bit of a um, coating on it but again my ink pads were not seasoned so it made the blending a little more difficult. The mustard seed I used right there my I did have a seasoned tool and it blended beautifully. I didn't have to even ink it up I just used whatever ink was on the pad and it worked great. Now here I'm, I, I edited it out to save time in the video but I did add you'll see it as we go down further in the video I added um, in some of that white space some other balloon parts a bottom of a balloon and a side on the right side there yeah, you can see it now the purple and and the twisted citron I added so okay moving on what I'm doing is I prepared my ink panel with the anti-static powder tool and I used Versa what is it Versa mark no, I'm sorry, Versa Fine ink uh, in black and I stamped the wallflower stamp, added my WOW, I use WOW clear embossing powder and I just repeatedly stamped my flowers on my balloons. I just wanted to do a little something different and in my previous video I did where I used uh, Trinity stencils on top of the balloons to make stripes and polka dots but this I just wanted to stamp. I don't know. To be honest, sometimes I make a card ahead of time as a, you know, practice and then I make the video off that. This card I did not. I was flying on, on the seat of my pants and, you know, going. I knew I wanted to combine the products but I wasn't quite sure how or what it was going to look like. So I was just making this up as I went along and that's how I did this card. So I'm just stamping again, repeat stamping and coming up here you're going to see I'm going to, well first I'm going to stamp this one here, then the next one on the balloon in the, in the background I'm going to use, if you get the, this stencil set, what's also great about them is that they come with these little masks you know the parts that were cut out so you can use that you're going to see it here coming up in a moment I took the little balloon mask and I lined it up made sure it fit and then I was about to stamp with my gray ink I wanted the balloons in the background to have like a lighter you know I didn't want to emboss them I just wanted a light uh, gray and then I said wait a minute let me tape that down so I put on some removable adhesive stuck that down because knowing me it would slide and it would make a mess 
So I, that's what I did. I used one uh, gray ink, and it was too light, and then I went ahead and used Hero Arts Soft Granite, and that gave me the look I wanted. So I stamped that other flower in the background, and then I did the same for the mustard seed balloon on the back right there with the rose. Lined that up, stamped it in gray, and that's pretty much it for that. Now I got my card base. I wanted to use black because I like rainbow and black. Always looks good together. And I just used some 3M Scotch tape and added that to the back of my panel. I just put three pieces this tape is pretty, this foam tape is pretty strong, pretty firm, so I wasn't worrying about sagging. And I just folded back my liners, and I, because otherwise I wind up taping it crooked and separating it and ripping it. So I used that as a guide to make sure I got it on straight. Once I had that on straight, here's the other Trinity product I used, a sentiment for almost everything. This stamp set it, again, it pretty much has a stamp for almost everything. I used the Happy Birthday, and I re used, used it three times, and you're going to see here where I just... Now, I, I should have lined this up better, and I'll tell you why. With, with the Misty, you have the little grids on there. I should have stamped, moved it up in a, you know, a block or a quarter inch, and so on and so on, but I just kind of eyeballed it because... And when I wind up trimming them out, it made it much more difficult to get them to be identical. So I should have planned it a little ahead of time. And But again, like I said, I didn't really know where I was going with this card. So that's why I just... But I cut them all identical. They're pretty much the same. And it's really hard to tell. So I used the rule of three, and I used three sentiments, repeating happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> and then I'm using one of my favorite embellishments of all time, Trinity Stamps Bubble Bath Bobbles. These are flat back, uh, like pearls, and they have a holographic look to them. I used them again in my previous video, and I matched them and paired them with holographic cardstock. These are just so pretty. When the light hits them, they just shine. I just love them. It's hard to capture on film, but in person, it really shows up great. So that is my card. And then I said to myself, it needs a little bit more black. So I used a black glaze jelly roll pen. And this one also adds dimension. So it's it looks really came out good in person and that is my card folks so i hope you like it if you can check out the trinity shop and see what they got going on in their new release have a great day bye-bye